Hey, this would be a video chart on GRDO, Guard Dog Incorporated. Used to do this one quite often, uh, but it just kind of fell away from it as the chart kind of went quiet. Uh, but now the chart's really uh, starting to take shape here and give us a very interesting uh, chart formation. And if things go right, uh, you know, we could have a nice little uh, kind of bullish move on our hands here. So let's just dig in. And what I want to first do is draw this uh, pattern that I see shaping up. So here, since essentially... Um, back in mid-March, put in the low here. Uh, big volume looks like this was the capitulation day here. Uh, a lot of volume. Then we had the nice move up. This pullback here, but the key about this pullback is the low formed here rather than down in this area. Therefore, that was a higher low, which gave us this uptrend. Uh, we had another kind of pullback here, and so far it's looking like this has been the higher low. So we have a nice, uh, depending on what your definition of long or medium term is, or maybe you'd even say this is a long term uptrend, uh, but we do have an uptrend, uh, whatever scale you want to call it, uh, you know, that's up to you. I'm going to call this just a medium term uptrend, uh, but like I said, maybe you would consider this a short term or a long term, but for argument's sake, I'm going to call this medium term. So this is the first part of our pattern, and the next is this right here, which is at 009, and this is just a very important area. And the reason for that is if we go back and look through the price history of the chart, you can see that there's all sorts of instances where the price has come up and just gotten rejected by this area. A bunch of times right here, had another time there. Look at all these times, a whole clump of them right here. And now once again, the past couple of days, uh, the price has gotten rejected from it. So what this gives us is an ascending triangle. All that means is we have an uptrend line here, but we also have a horizontal resistance up here and that level being at double zero nine. Now if the bulls can push through that and what we see here is you know getting a nice little tight range here right up at this area we had some nice volume but if we can get a nice another nice volume increase and a double oh nine can fall uh, you know the price could really get moving out of this uh, you know chart breakout pattern. As far as potential price targets uh, it looks like it could get up to uh, one penny relatively quick uh, as that is the next area of resistance and then after that you know things really start to thin out even more but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself right now I just want to talk about you know the chart pattern that we do have so um, you know if it's not on your radar I think you should put it on because you know things could get pretty exciting if it breaks out through there uh, if not if it does pull back then for the longer term people in this you want to see this tread line here hold strong and uh, you know not crumble or anything like that because it has been doing a good job of providing support and as long as that remains the case uh, then you're good to go from the daily chart perspective so if there are any other questions on the chart please let me know if not I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com if you go there and sign up for the free newsletter you'll be sent a free ebook and with your newsletter subscription you'll get chart setup, straight ideas, educational pieces all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, of something for everybody. It's all free. Uh, we've been making some good money together on our alerts and so forth. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and check it out. One more time, this is GRDO. Thanks for listening.